The San Benito Court has been here in downtown Hollister since 1962, sharing the building with the county 50-50. But the court outgrew the space long ago. Security is also a significant concern. We've been lucky. We haven't had any incident. But in today's world, it's not something you want to, you know, bank on. So this site was identified by the local project advisory group in the administrative office of the courts as the ideal location for a new courthouse. It's a block away from the old building, and it's three acres. The sycamore trees that surround the site, having a full city block with great access, you couldn't ask for a, a better site. Ideas are taking shape, with community members actively involved in the planning. It shows you what you can do uh, when you all come together. It's first and foremost a community project. We've recognized that from the very beginning and is, if you will, a nod to that point. We've decided to have at least two public meetings on this process. On this night, folks had a chance to inspect a mini model of what the new courthouse might look like and hear about design concepts. What you're going to see tonight, this the building of the new courthouse is not 100% or fully defined. It's a work in progress. It'll be a two-story steel frame structure, about 41,500 square feet. Security will be a top priority. There will be three separate levels of circulation for the public, for judges and staff, and for people in custody. There will be three courtrooms with a jury assembly room that could later be turned into a fourth courtroom. And the vision now is to include lots of glass out front to convey the transparency of the courts. Will it cost more to keep it cool? We've got incredible technology in glass these days with double and even triple pane and low E glasses. In fact, it will be a highly energy efficient building. They're even considering a green roof, like the one at the California Academy of Sciences in Golden Gate Park. On top of the roof would be three inches of soil in trays with native grasses and plants. That can dramatically reduce air conditioning needs real growing, growing water necessary kind of thing. They really have a great value in terms of cooling and insulating a building. Uh, a ton of heat gain that goes into the atmosphere comes off of commercial roofs. Landscaping could reflect the agricultural nature of the area with rows of cherry trees and other drought tolerant native plantings. I love the courtyard bringing in the agricultural history of our community. Of course, this community is also well known for earthquakes. There is evidence all over. An active branch of the San Andreas Fault System, the Calaveras Fault, runs right through town. With an abundance of caution, the Hollister Redevelopment Agency hired geologists. They did an extensive seismic analysis of the proposed courthouse location. The site's been deemed safe to build on. We have a very, very good structural engineer firm we've worked with for 25 years, so we have uh, got a great team and, and no problems here building on this site. The new courthouse will be a welcome addition to this community. We are so excited to be able to provide a modern, secure facility where we can provide access to all. Which is scheduled to happen in the fall of 2012. I'm Leanne Kozak reporting from Hollister for California Courts News. Not only is it a collaboration,